Hey everybody, I'm Spectral Star, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And yeah, I guess uh, we're gonna try to talk to this chick again. We're looking for Gary, uh, the the weakest name for a vampire I've ever heard. In fact, it's a name that only a snail should use, honestly. Hey. Hey. <laughs> sure, whatever. Sorry, my sinuses are still bothering me. Um. I'm looking for Gary. Know where he is? His room is just down the hall. You might be able to find him in there. Uh, can I ask you a few more questions? Sure. Whatever. I still haven't set up those cameras in Tawny Sessions' place yet. Well, hurry up! If I see her picture on one more magazine cover, I'm gonna start peeling off my own face. Well, it won't take you long to get that done. Uh, I don't want to see that. Uh, but wait till I leave, please. So yeah. Okay, so let's go. We got a bunch of biblical pictures here. It's kind of ridiculous. We're still looking for Gary. <laughs> Gary! Gary! Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I just remembered that was in Fallout 3, the Gary guy. The guy that was named Gary. And everybody was going around in that vault called... Gary, calling each other Gary, or screaming Gary, I don't freaking know. It's been a while. Am I going the right way? I don't know this place, and it is a blind LP, so... Oh, God. Do we really have to? As you can see, there's dead rats everywhere. It's what they, they feast upon. What? Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Well, that's, uh... It's not creepy at all. Holy hell. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. Oh. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Uh. Where are you? Maybe I'm in your head. Uh oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. I just need to talk to you. We are talking, but you aren't listening, boss. Why are you calling me boss? Who are you? Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you just stumbled down here. What I need to know is why you're here. Okay, uh, let's talk face to face. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? Uh, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. I'm here about the Ankar and sarcophagus. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. Just tell me about the sarcophagus so I can get out of here. We should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. Who bought it? I like to discuss business face to face. Well then let's talk. Show yourself. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. I'm sure I saw worse with the last episode. But... Yes, come on out. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> yeah? Behind you, boss. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Who are you? What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. Little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. <laughs> Nowadays, it's just Gary. Okay. 
delighted. Now, where's the sarcophagus? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than May West. <laughs> Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Uh, because I got rid of the, that Zamace for you. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Quay Jin? Uh, what's a Quay Jin? The Quay Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Yeah, I think I've already fought one. I think I killed one back in San Santa Monica. What about them? Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately. And it's breaking my heart. And let me guess. You want me to find him. Gee, that's original. You think that up all by yourself? You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. <sighs> Deal. Tell me what I need to do. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That eyesore is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kuei Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Ooh. Sounds dangerous? <laughs> no, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to <laughs> Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Well, uh... All right, sounds... Uh, all right, the kindred at war with the Kuei Jin. <laughs> Maybe I should ask for a weapon. Sounds dangerous. Got anything I could use to protect myself? Let's see what I got. Oh, he's... Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. Aren't the kindred... Well, that was great. Thanks for nothing. Uh, aren't the kindred uh, at war with the Kuei Jin? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Why don't you go yourself? Forget it, boss. <laughs> it's Chinatown. <laughs> okay, uh, alright, I'll go. But you better keep your end of the deal, Ghoulie. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> There is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. All right. It's as good as done. Bye. Wow, look at this. So, this guy's obviously nuts. Dug up all these dead Hollywood stars and... Wow. Maybe they're not Hollywood stars. Where's the fucking piano guy? Where are you, piano man? Hey, is that Frankenstein? Boris Karloff? No, it's not. It's It, it looked like it there for a second, though. Can I get out this way? Well, that was interesting. We just met Gary, everybody. Bye, Gary. What a name. I think this might be a way out. Man, my nose is, is itching, and it's a bitching. Let's get up this ladder. This ladder made of poo sticks. Is this a sar- this is a fucking... Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I knew there was something up with this light. That's so cool. 
Maybe we should check in on our buddy uh, Romero. <laughs> See what he's doing. Maybe he's done his frolicking. And you know what I mean by frolicking, I hope. And I'm sorry, guys. There's just going to be sniffles left and right this episode. That's just... And maybe the next few... Who knows? Who knows? Is it locked here, really? Oh, my God. He's still in there with her. He's probably killed her. I, I dropped her off to a, a murderer. A psychopath. Maybe he just... I don't know. Slipped me some bad blood or something. And, like... That's why I saw all the zombies and they're not out anymore because now I'm a lunatic or something. I don't know. My nose itches. It itches. Clan La Sombra. A la 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 Sombra. Where does this go? Oh yeah, that's the peep show. Okay, so now let's check the thing here. Um, I spy Barabbas. Uh, Gary wants you to find his spy Barabbas, who was sent to Chinatown and disappeared. He is also told you your first step should be to talk to Ming Zhao at the Golden Temple. The model says, Amalia wants you to plant and activate cameras in Tawny Sessions' apartment in Hollywood. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. A tangled web. You have agreed to help Mitnick set up a few no, uh, new Nosferatu network. He'll be contacting you with the instructions via your email account back at your haven. <laughs> Going the way of kings. You've defeated the Jamish, which we know that already. Okay, now that we're back with Abrams here, let's finish our quest up. Evening. Uh, King's Way. There was a Zemish. Notice, I used past tense there. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Thanks, Isaac. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll stop by to pick it up later. Thanks. Yeah, he really has nothing else to say. Um, I cut abruptly because I had to cut the cut my stuff off because there was a thunderstorm going on outside. So, okay, after you walk out the door, you just walk back in. And, uh, boom, shacky lacky. He should be having the stuffs we need. About the gift. Can I have it now? Here. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. <sighs> no, he doesn't. Thanks for the gift, Isaac. Alright, so. He gave us the Pearl of Dubai. Uh, this jewel is the famous Pearl of Dubai. It's very precious and full of magical vibrancy that gives you a boost to your charisma. Also, something else I want to do is I want to go to the red spot and talk to the fine young gentleman uh, at the the counter and uh, inquire about his special stuff so I'll meet you there okay so I'm at the red spot um, basically something I want to know uh, if you guys know where uh, somebody, uh, some people told me I think it was bum number one told me about uh, the uh, downtown or this this area downtown no this is Hollywood Hollywood having like or is it downtown? Downtown is the hospital, he said. Okay, we're going to check that out today. And here is supposed to be like a fast food joint in Hollywood. And I don't know where that is. I looked all over for it. Anyways, here's the red spot. So let's get an upgrade. Deb's back and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it right after we grab this money. Out of this. For some reason, it was just there. 25 bucks. Oh, hi. Who are you? I didn't notice that guy in here before. What's up? Oh. Uh, uh, welcome to Red Spot, so home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces Lime of your favorite Lime beverage Lime for 89 cents. Blah, blah, blah. You need help Ed, or something? What have you been up to tonight, uh, yeah, uh, microwave burrito. What's going on around here? Anything exciting or unusual? Always. You come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. Plan tomorrow night at Crematorium. No cover for chicks. That's an awesome name for a band. We're gonna ruin the place. Interesting. Anything else I should know about? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn, the girls are mad. It's like a midget smuggling ring in there. Yes, uh, there's if you're into that kind of thing, I mean. Possibly. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, baby. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something. 
I bet. I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tops and grapple juice. You get a free weapon in your chest. I don't even have a car, dude. For like uh, of course, show me what you got. Holy shit. It's got the Colt Anaconda. 44 Magnum Revolver. Feeling lucky, punk? A large caliber monster with the power to stop almost anyone dead in his tracks. Alternate fire mode. Bad. Awesome. He's also got the Ingram. He's got sledgehammer. Ammo for the 38. Uh, shotgun shells. Four, uh, 19, 9 millimeter rounds. 9, nine millimeter rounds. He's got 308 high velocity rounds for your hunting rifle, I assume. And then he's got this, the light leather, value 405. This is a set of light leather clothing. Light leather clothing has an armor rating of 2, but hinders movement slightly, resulting in a negative 1 to dexterity. Some examples of light leather clothing are leather jackets, leather skirts, leather gloves, and leather boots. So we're going to buy that. And I just, I just want to look different. You know? Whenever I see my character, it would be cool to see something different. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now, I'm going to head to downtown so we can check out the abandoned hospital. It's going to get creepy. Suck you dry. All right, and here we stand in front of the abandoned hospital. I walked by this place many o time. Didn't know anything about it. Didn't even know you could go into it. Now we're finally going to check it out. Once again, if anybody knows... Where the uh, the fast food joint in Hollywood is, let me know, cause I'll go there. I'll go anywhere you guys want me to. Your wish is my command. In this game, I I'm enjoying it so much. Like I don't want it to end. I love this game. Lots of fun. Oh, hello. Ah, 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 help me! Help me! It's got them. It's it's coming for me now. It's, it's coming for me. Slow down. What's coming? Who are you? My crew, we, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist. Haunted L.A. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. What's behind you? Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know. Ghosts, if this, that's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs. Ah. Weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I don't know what's happening. Well, wait here. I'll go see if I can find them. No, no, don't go down there. Coming. It's coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it, it was out, out of right. You stay here and mumble incoherently. I'll be back. Cuckoo. Obviously, he's really seen a ghost, though. There's some supernatural things afoot. What the heck? Did somebody left a TV here? Why would somebody just leave a TV? Who leaves a TV? What kind of stupid ghosts am I dealing with? Oh, this is good. This is Silent Hill good. What the hell? Oh my god, did I find secret secret sauce? Did I find Captain Secret McSecret secret pants? Okay, I guess I'm I'm forced. It forced my hand. Oh shit. Okay. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? What the hell? This is awesome. Hello? Housekeeping? Housekeeping? Guess they don't care about housekeeping in the afterlife. Hello? Morphine? Just morphine laying around in an abandoned hospital in the middle of a city? <laughs> Fat fucking chance. Okay, well obviously she went down here. Can I hippity hoppity? I can hippity hoppity, but there's nothing there, so let's. Oh god. Am I forgetting anything in here? 
Oh my god, this place is a fucking nightmare. I love it. This is exactly the gameplay that I love out of this game. These creepy places. Like the Overlook Motel or whatever. The Oceanside Motel. Or Hotel. Whatever you call it. Okay. Getting deep. I can't see a damn thing. I can't see a damn thing. My allergies aren't helping either. It's kind of a fuzzy haze at this point. Oh my god. No, no, no. Uh. I'm away. Well, that'll do it. I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. I wish I had night vision. Oh, fuck! That's awesome! I mean, that sucks for him. Definitely. <clears throat> yeah. The Fook? What the fuck is going on? What? <laughs> Hello? You, you gonna save some for me? Okay, well that door... A door works now. So, were you the one? Okay, I guess you were. Okay. Uh, Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Hmm. What are you? <laughs> Drinking blood to sustain your death. You are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? Hmm. You have to eat human flesh? We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kine think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. Mm. Who are you? My birth name I tell no one. <laughs> you may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She Whoa. has no need of it anymore. Whoa, okay. Uh, 230 years old? Oh my god. Uh, why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult trace here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. Mm. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. <sighs> He'll never come down here. He's scared of his out of his mind. Are you going to eat him? Eventually. Okay, um... I don't know what I should do. Should I send his ass down here? He's... He's just a human... I don't think I can do that. I really don't think so. Forget it. I'm not sending a... Going to send a man to his death. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves... The frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. That is true. <laughs> I can't fuck the masquerade right now, though. If it has to be this way, I'll take care of it right now. <sighs> I mean, what does it matter? It's just, it's just one guy, right? I mean, if I don't do it... The thin veil of... Uh, Bullshit would be fookified, you know? So, I mean, honestly... I don't want to have to get another Masquerade Redemption. I really don't. And we're back, and this is Apartment 1 in Skyline Apartments. Our lovely home. This is not our home, but, uh... Let's just go ahead and do that, because I don't want to screw around with it. Uh, apparently... 
this dude is here in a closet. It's not a closet. That has blown my mind. This is totally not a closet either. Well, we will find him. And what we're going to do with him is anybody's guess. I'm going to go ahead and get a save. Uh, save game. Dude live. Dude die. I don't know. I don't know which one to do. Uh, we're going to figure it out. Um, I really don't want to kill him. But I also don't want to piss off the masquerade. Hey! So this is where you are. You're that freak. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, you're not. You're the reporter. You're the reporter. The freak is downstairs. He's the he's the main macho manager, dude. Not really macho. Uh, but the, in my crew, are they... Are they... Oh my god. Give me your driver's license. If you tell anyone about this, you will share their fate. What? Why? Your license or your life. Here! You say anything about tonight, I know where you live. Not a word. <laughs> we dealt with him. We got experience, and hopefully not a... Masquerade issue or something. Item gain, driver's license. Cool. Let's just wait till all this is off screen. Okay. Where's his driver's license? That is not his driver's license. That is definitely not his driver's license. Here it is. California driver's license. The name on the license is Simon Milligan. Okay, Milligan. Okay, Simon Milligan. Look at that stupid shit-eating grin on his face. Hey, everybody. Okay, and we actually have a lot of money. We really, we really do. I wonder if that changes. Uh, I'll meet you back at, uh, Maneater, Mildred. You know, in hindsight, how is anybody supposed to know that this dude lives in the apartments? How are you supposed to find this guy? I mean, it doesn't say nothing on the, on the checklist or anything, you know? But we got his driver's license, so it looks like we killed him. Because why would he give up his driver's license? Unless he was dead. He wouldn't need it anymore then. And then we just, we silenced him by making him just not say a word. By scaring him with his life. Which is my speciality. So let's talk to her. See what she's got to say. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? Hmm. I dealt with him in my own way. He won't say a word. I put the fear into him. If you don't believe me, you can find him here. That may be sufficient. But the only way to be sure would have been to kill him. You should not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. Uh, uh, I dealt with him. You were saying something about artifacts before. Yes, I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, Though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. Fair enough. Tell me about the item you think is in the museum. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. What? A museum has something like this? The Museum of Natural History housed one. Of that, I'm certain. I did investigate the grounds, but I've concluded it was stolen along with that sarcophagus. Mm. Tell me about the other item. Or, well, must have been. What else did you want? It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another. Hmm. If I find it, I'll bring it by. Okay, let's talk to her some more. Yes. You seem a bit preoccupied with death. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. Do vampires poop? 
If so, would she just poop human remains? Am I fucked up for thinking that? I probably am. Uh, okay. Uh, I had another question. Yes. A vampire that eats flesh. It's still disgusting. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self-preservation. I wither and rot without it. It is my survival. Hmm, okay. Um, I had another question. Yes. I brought you a little snack. I brought you a little snack. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self Yeah, that's... Ten dollars for whatever I gave her. Yes. Um. About the items you want. Yes. Never mind. I guess I don't have the items. I could have swore I had some kind of fetish. Mummy wrap fetish. Why would I want to give that up though? And a fleshy ball. Where's the tome? That's not it. I could have swore I had the tome. But I gotta get rid of some of this crap. I mean, honestly, fancy watch, fancy ring. I could be selling this shit and, and be rolling in the dough. I might do that in between episodes. I don't, I don't know. Silver ring. Uh, I guess. Uh, and there's a week of pig th th thistle. I don't know what that's for. And then you got the golgem. Oh, holding this rough-hewn amber stone gives you a sense of peace and even a glimmer of hope for salvation. You are able to hold the effect of most passive disciplines longer as long as you possess Gonjum. Their durations are increased by 25%. See, that's that's awesome. You know, I couldn't even read that before until I got the uh, proper understanding of it. But, you know, it looks like we're kind of... We, we got the mummy wrap fetish. I mean, isn't that what she wants? Yes. Not the yes. items you want. Not the one from the a museum. Is described in a if I find it, I'll bring it by. I, okay, well, whatever. Maybe I gotta leave and come back. I don't know. I don't really want to get rid of it. I mean, it's a pretty nice item. I mean, freaking gives you passive healing rate by 20%. Why would I want to give that to her? I don't even care who she is. I really don't. She just eats people. And congratulations, you're awesome. Here's a big pile of people parts. Shove them in your mouth. Uh, but, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. I mean, if you guys, like I said, if you if you could tell me where and how to get to the fast food joint in Hollywood, please do so in the comments below. I'm Spectral Star. Oh, my, wa mo. Kodoku. Help me. Help me. It's got them. 